front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Columbia, South Carolina, and I found a pretty unique looking steak and shake. Obviously closed, but I've never seen one that looks quite like this one before. Pretty cool. And actually, beyond the steak and shake signage, it says by someone. I can't read the name on it from where I'm standing. So I'm guessing the franchisee of this location put their name on it. Now, for me, I've only seen steak and shakes that all look exactly alike. All the Pittsburgh ones that have closed and other ones that I filmed, but they all look alike. This one is unique. I love the looks of this one a lot, and I'm sad it's closed. To my understanding, and what info Mary could find out, it opened up in the spring of 2018 and it closed March 8th, 2020. So I assume the virus scares had something to do with it, or it was just really bad timing. I don't know. But either way, it was barely open two years, and that stinks because I actually like their food. Is it the greatest? No, but their food is pretty good in my opinion, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. You might think it's El Stinko for crying out loud. But anyway, I thought their food is pretty good, and when I do find one, sometimes I'll stop and get one of those $4 meals, even though after tax it's not $4. And you don't even get a drink anymore, now you have to buy that extra. But anyway, let's go check this out and see how it looks three years after it closed. Yeah, there is the joint. Love the aesthetics to this one. A lot of character to it compared to the ones by me. drive through seen better days. Got weeds growing up. Order here. Famous for steak burgers. Famous for being out of business, bud. Jalapeno Crunch Steak Burger and Fries. Now that looks delicious. And they had the uh, Christmas era or Christmas time themed shakes, eggnog, peppermint, chocolate chip, and somehow pumpkin spice made it in there. All right. All their shakes that they would have along the side, other options, and then they would have their specials. Four dollar menu, all meals under four bucks. How's that going for you, bud? Anyway, let's take a look at this. So what does that say? Steak and shake by, does that say Bigler? I can't really make that out too well. Forgive me. But it looks like it says by Bigler. I don't know. Either way, it's a pretty cool uh, find. This drive through is rather unique. It doesn't even feel like a drive through honestly. It feels like a sidewalk. Even though you drive through here, you've got the little dip there where the water would drain out. Walkway to go to the parking lot. And then the drive through window up there with the sharp curve immediately after. And the garbage pit that everybody just dumped everything in. Wow, look at that in there. In sight, it must be right. Yeah, if you uh, if your theme is being out of business, that's a shame, man. I do like their food. What a fancy looking location, too. It's a shame that it's closed up. There's a light on in the kitchen, too. The, the kitchen lights are on. But yeah, it's a darn shame that it is closed. Oh, yeah, what is that? Sweets of the season menu there for the uh, shakes. It looks like one of those little cards that they would put like on a table, like on like a little table topper with like the salt and ketchup and pepper and everything. Prime steak burger. Kids eat free all weekend. You can't eat a thing here. Great place to lose weight. Good for me then. It's all right. I had Bojangles anyway. Don't tell anyone. I love Bojangles. Chicken sandwich with mac and cheese. And they threw a large mac and cheese in there for a dollar extra. And a sweet potato pie. Can't go wrong with that. There's nothing that makes me happier than sweet potato. Well, there's a lot of things that make me happy, but sweet potato pie. Don't go through this drive through because you'll run over the screw and get a flat tire. So we're just going to go ahead and put that. And then if you walk on it, you'll get a flat foot. Put it right there. And that wasn't a pun for the cops. <laughs> Let's take a look through this window here. That's just me being silly. Welcome. Okay, thanks. I like how 
when they like vacated the premises, they're just like the hell with that table and just knocked it over and went out the door, I guess. Uh, what did that table do to you? Anyway, looks like the flea market is in town here over at the, at the dump. Let's see what's good. We got a half dead hamper, looks like. Empty bottles, cups. Um, insulation. Might have been a homeless camp. I don't really want to find out. <laughs> That's sad though. Take home a sack. Okay. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. There's inside the kitchen. All the lights on. They even still have the soda fountain over here. No pib. Shame on you. Not that Dr. Pepper's bad. I just love pib. Don't forget to ask for Heinz. I like that they have a glass ketchup bottle on there instead of the plastic I'm trying to find one of those too i gotta look i would like to get it in a glass bottle again half price happy hour when anyway somebody was they didn't like the music they were listening to oh no those are nintendo ones they said they, they got mad when they lost their game and rage quit i getcha it's tough playing video games i wouldn't know because i don't play them Anyway, there's the back of the building. You like all the stupid puns I keep putting in this video? Just having some fun. Going for a nice little walk here. The breeze feels good. It's like 92 degrees, but the breeze feels good. And we have some cloud cover because we have some rain too, just to the north. It's going to miss us, but we're getting some clouds from it. And it's bringing a little bit of a cold breeze. Yeah, a lot of clouds that way where the rain is. But, not too bad. Enter. Let's check their mailbox. Hand them their bills. Whoop. Oh, wow, lots of mail. Oh, you didn't pay your American Express. You didn't get your AT&T bill. Uh, Spectrum cable sucks. Um, wait, you got a phone book in here? Is that what this is? Wow. Oh, I know, it's a catalog for furniture. What? Look at that. The best of you line. All right. Boy, they got a lot of mail in there. Get your mail taken care of, bud. Like, I know the mailman has a job to do. He has to go ahead and put the mail in here for a private residence or a business. But at what point, though, when you realize how long that this has been closed, do you just stop putting mail in the mailbox, especially when there's that much in there? I mean, I don't know. Come on, man. <laughs> It just seems dumb to go that route. And you know what, just for old time's sake, just because we haven't done it in a long time on the channel, it's been an awfully long time. Om nom 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 nom. Get on, get. Go. Steak and shake. Breaking my heart, man. Breaking my heart. Sorry, with all the other options to eat. I mean, look, it's not too bad. People were courteous. They left bottles and food and stuff. Oh, that came from Kroger, which is right down the street. That looks disgusting. Honey sweet, it's moldy. What's this? Crunchy cookie butter. Now, actually, that sounds pretty good, but not that one. That might, might be a little rough. Got Jack Daniels. They were eating graham crackers. It's empty. Man. Whole Foods. Oh, boy. The eating was good in this parking lot, and I just saw something else that I uh, can't believe I just saw in an open parking lot here. Whatever you kids got to do. At least you did it safely. <laughs> uh, so, let's move on. Yeah, here's the sign here that said they closed on the 8th. What a shame, man. I do like their places. Their food is good. All the Pittsburgh ones left. Even the register thing is still on. You see it flashing on the camera wow what a shame man it's like the steak and shake that closed in homestead near me in pennsylvania lady invested in it reopened it had it open for about two weeks and it closed again since and now it's about to become to my understanding a chipotle i think is what i heard 
but it's like man all that money wasted and from what I understanding they had a staffing issue and it wasn't that nobody wanted to work apparently people wanted to work she wanted to hire people but corporate said no it has to be this way or the highway and because of the no staff issue they closed and it kind of sucks really corporate wouldn't let her hire the people she tried to hire Let's see what do we got over here is that dunkin donuts or is that a pizza box i can't tell uh it looks like a pizza box okay there's a shoe I'll never understand why only one gets lost. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing these Adidas flip-flops, right? There's one on a street near Mary's house. <laughs> Just one. Anyway, let's go take a look at the really cool Steak and Shake sign. Now, somebody had Panda Express, too. They had the Munchies, a Bud Light, Taco Bell sauce. Like, come on. There's garbage cans. An apple pie for McDonald's. Anyway, here's the really cool-looking sign. Love the logo on that one. Yeah, we see the, that one up there all the time, but that is cool. Very, very cool. Like that a lot. It's a bummer that it closed, though. Yeah, they were eating Taco Bell and everything around here. Look, what's that? Is that what I think that is? That's a Stella bottle there. Well, yeah, it's a Stella Artois. It's a really good beer. That's really good beer. Good choice, sir. Or ma'am, or whoever the heck drank it. All right, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I'm getting out of here. All right, everyone. Well, I'm about to take on off. Thanks to Mary for driving us out here. Hope you enjoyed the video and all the stupid stick I put in this one. <laughs> Gotta have some fun. But anyway, this was fun. There's the other side of that sign, which I really like. But that's a wrap from here. Really cool looking steak and shake. Bummer it closed. But with all the uh, possibilities out here, um, I could definitely see it being repurposed. I'm surprised it hasn't been in three years because they're building up stuff all around here. And it's a nice area, too, honestly. So right off the highway, right off I-77. So anyway, taking off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.